Welcome back to the Community Review on Hot 92.3. I'm Jose Salinas, your host. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Sunshine, she's here, you can take a break. I'm a hot air balloon that could go to space. With the air, like I don't care, baby, by the way. I was getting ready to say you're happy because that's the song you just heard. And there's a reason for me playing this song, not just because it is the theme song in my house, not just because it is the uh, ringtone on my phone, not just because uh, we all did a household uh, video of that song with all of us in the house. Yes, we actually did it in the house. It's because the song makes me happy. And with us today are some of the dancers who were on stage with Pharrell Williams when he performed the song at the 86th Annual Academy Awards Ceremony at the Oscars. They were there. They're from Hamilton High School. They're in the house with me this morning. Big cheer for Hamilton High! (laughs) All right. Right now, we're going to bring up to the microphone Marlene Zaccaro. She is the director of the Academy of Music at Hamilton High, and she's going to talk to us all about the program, the school, and and the amazing experience of having these kids at the Oscars. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, how the heck did Pharrell find these kids at Hamilton High? Well, first of all, we got a call from the Fulfillment Fund, and they wanted the vocal jazz singers to sing at a benefit. And the next thing we knew, it was singing with Pharrell. And so you went to the Fulfillment Fund, and they sang with him, and they somehow seemed to all click and like each other so he kept ask inviting them and asking them to go on further events and they also performed with him on the ellen show and then when the song was oh, they're tv stars now yeah, they do tv <laughs> uh-huh. everything and then when the oscars came up and that song was nominated he asked to be invited for the kids to come back and join him again when they uh came to audition the kids they uh these were singers so they needed dancers because it was really a major big dance piece so they opened it up to the to the dancers i think over 100 dancers uh, auditioned from around LAUSD uh, they were all fulfillment fund schools and they picked all our hamilton dancers and so they they joined in with the with the singers and they 19 of them got to go to the oscars wow how amazing did that make you feel very as an instructor proud, very proud all of these kids are just so ridiculously talented and we, we've had, it's because of the teachers, too, who have gotten them to this point. And we had Latrice Douglas, who's their dance teacher, and Kelsey Hahn, who's their vocal teacher. And, and they have given them the skills they needed to get to this point. So how long have you been teaching? Well, I've been teaching since the last century. <laughs> and, but I've been in Hamilton for, uh, this is my 14th year of Hamilton. Mm-hmm. Prior to being the director of the academy, uh, I was a drama teacher. So I built the drama program, mm-hmm. and then the position opened up to be the director of the academy, so I'm now running pretty much the whole magnet program. We have 930 students. We draw from 94 zip codes, and we're completely, our focus is performing arts. So we have all the performing arts, not just music, but we also have dance, drama, uh, technical theater, musical theater, and choral. Wonderful. Plus, I'm sure just the regular educational requirements that one needs to get out of school yeah, as well. It's a, it's a school first, and so they have to take all their academic requirements to graduate. Mm-hmm. And then they, the focus is the performing arts. Mm-hmm. Very good. Well, I might have a six-year-old coming your way soon. Send her, send okay. her to us. So did you think for one minute when you started the school year that your kids were going to end up on the Academy Awards? No, no. I mean, we've done some pretty spectacular things over the course of our 27-year uh, history. Oh, by the way, the vocal jazz kids also sang at an Oceana event honoring Hillary Clinton, and they sang with Kali Simon. Wow. So that was one more thing just in the middle there of, of many things they did this year. The dancers have been everywhere dancing for all kinds of people, which they'll tell you about. But the Oscars were a pretty far reach. We've been mm-hmm. on uh, the, the, the yeah. Jay Leno show, I think, uh-huh. before. But the Oscars were pretty far out there for us. Right, and how exciting that must have been. Now, when you broke it to the kids... How did you tell them? I like, go- oh, by the way, uh, the Oscars are calling for you. Well, their vocal coach, who's um, uh, 
Kelsey Hahn, she broke it to them. They could tell you about what that reaction was. I knew probably first before they did and had to keep it a secret for about a week. And I was just like gritting my teeth, gritting my teeth, like, oh, please tell them. But she had to make sure all the, all the, it was final. You know, right. all, the, all the preparations mm-hmm. were made. Right. I'm, I'm imagining there was a big yell, right? Big yell. Okay. okay. <clears throat> all right. Very good. Well, let's bring the kids up to the microphone and, uh, Hear it firsthand what actually went through their minds, how they felt. In the house, we have, I tell you what, let's just introduce yourselves as you go around. Uh, Hello, I'm Noah Mayer. Hey, everyone. I'm Preston Parker. Hi, I'm Michael Lyric. Hey, I'm Chloe Curry. Hi, I'm Diamond Quinn. Hi, I'm London Thibodeau. Well, welcome, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) It's so funny. Well, I'll tell you what. You would never know that these are the kids on the Oscars right now because they all have a microphone in front of them. All of a sudden, everybody got shy. What the heck? (laughs) It's okay. Microphones do it to everybody. So who wants to tell me what it was like when they first told you that this opportunity was in front of you? Well, I remember finding out that uh, I had worked with Pharrell before, and when I found out that Happy was nominated, I was just hoping, hoping that we could do it. And then when we found out, it was, it's unbelievable. The the whole process has been unbelievable from start to finish. So when the, what were the auditions like? Um, The auditions were very interesting. We were with a lot of kids, and it was nerve-wracking because it was just so much going on, trying to pick up the moves and really focus because we really wanted this opportunity. So... Um, after the audition, when we found out we made it, we were all screaming with joy. We were hugging each other. We were all Crying. so happy. Yes. Uh-huh. It was it was great. And so what was me. the reaction to, like, parents when you went home and you said, guess what, Mom? I'm going to be on the Oscars. When I told my mom, she, I don't really understand. She was just kind of like, what? And <laughs> she didn't understand what was going on. And then when I told her and that she, she had to keep it confidential, I told her that 30 your minutes later. Your mom had yeah, to keep it confidential? Yeah, I told her. <laughs> I know your mom. No, 30 <laughs> minutes later. I got emails from every one of my family members saying, congratulations. And I was, she had told the whole family. She was so excited. Mom. She was so, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Mom. Mom's Ginger Campbell, by yeah. the way, from Ginger Snap Productions. She has been a uh, wonderful PR person and puts on fabulous events for years. I've worked with her for years. So I can understand Mom being a PR person. It was very difficult for Mom. But Mom should have known. But she didn't make a Facebook post, so I was grateful. Oh, that was good. (laughs) Okay, so talk to me about the first day on set rehearsing. So um, the first day on set rehearsing, it was it was a different environment, first off, and we had to have three hours of school. So we had to bring all our classwork that we would have done in school, had to bring it in. We had a study session, you know, for about three hours, and, you know, I got kind of a lot done, and then we had a little lunch in between. So first day in rehearsal, we went in to start learning the moves, and... It was it was kind of intense <laughs> in a way, um, but altogether it was lots of fun. Um, a lot of high energy. Fatima was a great person to work with. All the um, professional dancers were really sweet and very encouraging, and we just kind of made a big big family. So very cool. So who wants to talk to me about the choreographer that was there with you guys? Because I understand she's quite the famous choreographer, so that must have been really special to work with her. So Fatima Robinson was our choreographer and. The first day we were there, we were all kind of just like, oh, my God, like, is is that that Fatima? (laughs) Uh And it was just a really a great experience for us because, you know, she's done all these things. She's worked with Michael Jackson. She's done all this choreography for all these amazing people. And it was just so overwhelming. We were all just like we were all grinning our cheeks away. (laughs) Your face almost hurts after a while, huh? So now when you got done with the experience, what do you feel that you learned from it beyond the like just the joy of being able to say, huh, I danced on the Oscars? Well, I feel that first off, hard work always does pay off and also always maintaining, I don't know, good relationships with people. Um, always, you know, just from the simple, nice things like, you know, thank you, you know, thank you for the opportunity, stuff like that always opens up more doors for you. Um, from the Fulfillment Fund to the Ellen Show, you know, um, Hamilton's Vocal Jazz Choir, we were always very polite and we always kept our manners and we were always very grateful of every opportunity we got. And I believe that from 
all those opportunities and all our grateful actions came the Oscars and it just opened up so many doors and we're so very grateful for all of it. Let's hear from everybody. I don't know. I really learned that you you got to pay attention in rehearsal because it moves fast. <laughs> I don't know if I'd ever put on a whole show like that in three days before. So if you miss something, yeah, you were in trouble. A lot you of had work, to learn it. A lot you of work goes it. into the Oscars, doesn't it? And imagine a you guys are just work. doing one number. Imagine if you had to be like Ellen and go out there the entire three hours, mm-hmm. you know, and you guys just did one number. Um. Continuing with what Preston was saying, I just learned how anything you do, the way you say please or the your attitude the entire time really affects how they view you and it can help you in the future. I just, from where they placed me and like they asked me a question and I said please and thank you to something and they asked for my name after that and it was, they wanted to know more about me just because I had said please and thank you. And so it's just interesting to see how the way you behave really affects what you will do. Next. And how people react to yeah, you. Yeah, definitely. Ladies, this side? I learned how the professional world works. Like, there's no games. This is this is real world. Like, you actually have to pay attention and, you know, be polite to others. So I learned that you have to really just be more adult-like, even though they see you as, like, a kid sometimes. You have to remember Well, you that, guys are kids. Come yeah. on. Okay, you're still in high school. <laughs> you're still kids. You're young adults. Yeah, young just adults, to be put it more... That way. Just mm-hmm. to be more professional. Well, congratulations on that, by the way. After everything was over, I learned that anything is possible. This experience really came out of nowhere. And for us to be so mature and ready for it, I think we handled it very well. I thank my teachers for teaching me great etiquette and work habits because if it wasn't for that, I'm sure things would have been way different. Um, I just learned from this experience that it's important to be very open-minded. It's important to be professional. You know, we were working with kids a lot younger than us, around seven. We yeah, were there were some with. little kids there too, right? Yeah. Um, another How'd they do? kid. They did wonderful. They were so much. They were so much more professional than I thought. Like mm-hmm. you know, you see a kid and you you think they're going to be playing tag or they're going to be talking loud, but they were really professional and it just taught me a lot. Like in the real world, you have to act a certain way, and this experience just. Kind of just solidified all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're talking about millions and millions and millions of dollars that go into making this one night happen for hundreds of millions of people to see. So there's a lot of people that have a lot riding on it coming out well. And so it probably gave you a really good snapshot into, like you said, the real world. What happens when people's money and reputations and ratings are at stake and you are a part of that because your performance helps sell it. And I can tell you that your performance was outstanding. It was just so wonderful to see and be a part of. Now, I hope you guys went and made a YouTube video with the whole class doing the happy song down the street. Oh. You guys <laughs> haven't done that yet? <laughs> yeah. You're yeah, the next step. <laughs> Come on. I thought you guys would have had that done by now. Come on, Hamilton High's version of happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, you know what? Because I know just some of the people that were there, there's a few people that I haven't met that I would have been like just so excited. If I would have met. So give me each person. Think of who the most important person was. That you, Not not most important, but let's just say the, the most jaw dropping person that just left you speechless. And we'll start on this side. Go ahead. When I during the during this performance, when I walked out and sat in our opening positions, Leonardo DiCaprio was like 10 feet from us. And he he smiled at us and gave us a thumbs up and told us all we better have big smiles. So that was <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, um, when I was going into the Oscars, I just was really wanted to see Meryl Streep, and she was right in front of me when I was sitting down, and I just, oh, it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at the end of our performance, when we were in our final poses, I was looking through the crowd of the celebrities in front of us, and I remember Jennifer Lawrence, we made eye contact, and she was all like, woo, and she gave me a thumbs up, and I flipped out in my head, and I was like, oh my gosh, yes. So, hey, but, uh, but you kept your cool on camera, cool, of course, sure. of oh, course. Yeah. <laughs> um, every time I looked into the crowd while we were performing on stage, I just keep seeing Will Smith's face, and every time I saw his face, I just, I thought, am I really here right now? Is this a dream? So amazing. Okay, after we performed, as we were leaving, John Legend walked past me, and I didn't know how to react. I was like, is that John Legend? Is that John Legend? It was just, he's just great, yeah. 
Um, I saw Jonah Hill. He was like right in front of me, and I was kind of freaking out because I was like, "He's so funny!" Like I just saw him on this movie, and I'm like, "Oh my god!" I was just really excited. Yeah, so it's it's very cool, isn't it, <laughs> to get there and to to see these people and have them be right there, and another thing to see them clapping for you, to see them excited for you, and because <laughs> of you. That had to be so amazing. Congratulations. Does somebody want to talk to me about the exciting people that were at your rehearsal? When we had finished rehearsing for, I don't know, the second, third time, I don't know, and my friend Gabby and I turned around and Brad Pitt was talking to us, and he was asking us he's if we so were... He's so cool. He is so beautiful. Yeah. It is ridiculous. And he, and just, <laughs> he, just, had, you know, he just has the, the coolest air yeah, about him. Yeah, he does. He's very just calming. So, yeah. yeah. Maybe it was those blue eyes. Whatever I don't it was. know what it was. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm with you on that one, sister. <laughs> definitely. Anybody else want to talk about somebody? Uh-huh. Um, also, at one of our rehearsals, Jamie Foxx showed up, and he was so energetic, and he was and very hilarious, funny. hilarious, wasn't yes. it? Yeah. Jamie, was... Jamie and I have known each other for a long time. He's a funny guy. Yeah, he was just very funny. Just when he's just being Jamie. He doesn't have to be being anybody else. So he probably made you guys laugh yeah. a lot. Lot. Yes. Anybody else? Christoph Waltz from uh, uh, Django Unchained. He nodded at me when I walked off the stage, which oh, yeah, was pretty like, awesome. Yeah, gave, gave me a, lot, gave gave me me a that, little head nod. Yeah, yeah. yeah that head up that guys do to each other. Yeah. yeah, you got the guy up nod, huh? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Oh, I remember um, as I was walking off stage, I walked past Kristen Chenoweth and she was sitting down and she looked at me and she goes, oh my gosh, you did a great job. And then I kind of flipped out. I, I was like, oh, oh my, oh, oh my. You're, I was like, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And then I ran out. But yeah, it was great to see her. Uh-huh. Also coming off this stage after just performing, Carrie Washington was walking through the hallway and she gave everybody high fives. She gave me a hug in particular. And I, she was like, good job. And you did so well. Ooh, left me yes. with a smile. Yep. And now you get to see her on Thursday nights on Scandal and you're just like, yo, Carrie, I know you. You hugged me. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, continued success. Please keep me updated, especially when you're doing something really cool uh, or going to perform something somewhere very cool. Make sure that I know about it so I can tell the world. If you guys do a fundraiser for your groups, make sure I know all about it so that I can you know, talk about it on the air. And when... Um, people get done listening to this interview, I want you to go to my YouTube channel because there you will see them doing a little version of Happy that was filmed right here at the radio station. Who knows? I might actually be in it. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much. Congratulations. Continued success and God bless all of you. Thank Thank you. 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 I'm Josefa Salinas. Until we get together again, stay strong, stay focused, and most of all, Stay informed. I'll see you next Sunday on the Community Review. Hot 92.3. Enjoy your day. Have a fabulous one. Pick up a book. Read to a child. Most of all, be good to you.